Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Drum History News. Uh, today we are doing some really cool ones about tricks on drums, which are some of the most unique, rare drums in the world, German brand, which um, I've actually yet to do an episode of the podcast about because it's honestly kind of hard to find um, an expert on them. There's um, someone in Germany um, who I hope to get on the show, but he is a little hesitant because of the language barrier, but I'm sure we'll make it happen at some point. These ads are from the 1960s, and you can kind of tell that from the language they use uh, at that point in time. And it's neat that they were advertising for Trixon drums um, in the newspaper. I say Trixon, some people say Trixon. Uh, either way, I think is fine. It's just whatever you prefer. So let's jump in and check out the first one. So this first ad is from the St. Louis Post-Dispatch in St. Louis, Missouri from 1966. It says at the top, Tricks on Drums, what a way to go pro. You couldn't go pro a better way than Tricks on. These are drummer's drums, made to withstand job after job use. And sound, you never heard it so good. You'll find a new freedom in percussion expression. Tricks on Drums are tops in construction with six-ply shells, mirror finished on the interior, Parallel snare release mechanism is standard on all snare drums. The new Trixon shapes produce a new world to percussion possibilities. These new in shapes produce the in sound and sparkle with the new or now showmanship designs. Then it's got some cool photos of uh, people performing and playing with the Trixon drums. We have on the Telstar set, I believe it's Bob Kuban from when I Googled it. I might be saying that wrong. Cuban Kuban. Uh, it says Bob Kuban of the In Man on the Trixon Telstar recommends and endorses Trixon drums. Then below that, we have Joe Mondello of the Sheratons on the Trixon Telstar recommends and endorses Trixon. Then up on the top right, we have Phil Halsey or Mr. Drums on the new Trixon Thunderbeat recommends and endorses Trixon, which boy, that Thunderbeat, how cool is that? It's uh, kind of a shame that these aren't in color, that they're just printed like in an old newspaper, black and white, because the it really pops when you see these from the old catalogs of them being in color. And it says above Phil Halsey, pictured with Phil Halsey is Marty Bronson of KSD TV's noon show. So that must be like a still image from the video of them having these on uh, the news, because I guess they were probably doing more media to try and get these out there and say, look at these amazing drums and hopefully get people to buy them. We've got some prices on the left there, which says Trixon drums from 365. Trixon Luxus four piece outfit 489, I think is what that says. Uh, Trixon Telstar four piece outfit 515. Trixon Speedfire four piece outfit 525. And the Trixon Thunderbeat eight piece outfit 720. And the change is kind of hard to read. It says below that, yes, we have low down payments, long, easy terms. Convenient Christmas layaway plan available. Man, I would be a happy kid if I got a Trixon drum set for Christmas in 1966, which that's right when Ludwig was just blowing everyone out of the water. So um, this would definitely be an interesting, different drum set to get as opposed to getting a Ludwig set. Then at the bottom, it says Music Center, 99 Northland Shopping Center, Jennings, Missouri, teaching all instruments to all ages. See our complete stock of tricks on drums in the Phil Halsey Bob Kuban Drum Center. I hope I'm saying that last name right. It's interesting. These guys kind of took a bet by bringing in a stock of these German drums to their shop, um, you know, which everyone wanted Ludwig. Everyone wanted these American brands. So hopefully they did well and sold some of these awesome tricks on drum sets, which sure are interesting looking. Up next, we've got a cool one from uh, the Globe Gazette in Mason City, Iowa uh, from 1966. This one says, meet Louis Luigi Waits, I believe is the last name. It says, see and hear Luigi demonstrate great new sounds, great new shapes, tricks on drums. You're invited. See and hear the great Luigi demonstrate the great new sounds in tricks on drums. Luigi, with his conical drums, produces a tone, impact, and a penetration never possible on ordinary old-fashioned round drums. You'll hear drum music you never heard before, and no cost to you. Discover how much more you get with a tricks on drum set. They're rugged as a tank, designed like a jewel with special six-ply acoustic shells. The elliptical drum with two foot pedals actually explodes two distinct tones. Discover how great these drums can be. Boy, that is a little bit of hyperbole there, I think, uh, to help sell these drums and really go over the top with describing them. 
Then in the middle there, we have a uh, really cool picture of, uh, it looks like Luigi playing his, I guess it's a Speedfire kit next to a Telstar, uh, using it as a double bass kit, which is really cool. I don't think I've seen that before, using the combination of them together. It's probably just for like photo purposes, um, you know, to be a cool image for uh, the newspaper. So this was a clinic. It says Tuesday, May 17th, 2.30 to 530 7 to 9 30 p.m. uh was the time for the clinic it says see luigi on the after dark show kglo tv 10 30 p.m potter music center mason city iowa it's really cool i mean this is a press blitzkrieg of like let's get these tricks on drums out in the world get them on tv get them in newspapers so i'm assuming that tricks on would have like a press kit and they would use certain terminology which you hear on a couple of these different ads uh which which is pretty neat to see because these are all around the same time like 1966 1965 so very neat to see that one i'd love to be at that clinic to hear luigi here demonstrating these drums and then we have one from uh st louis post dispatch uh in 1966 same month as the previous ad that was in the same newspaper in the same year but uh, a few weeks earlier, this is from November 4th. The other one was from like the 26th or something. So multiple ads for tricks on drums um, in this one regional newspaper. So I imagine it was all over the United States. They would be um, advertising tricks on drums at this point in time. So this one is more about the particular pricing. On the left, it says the tricks on Telstar smashing impact, real groovy, exclaimed Jim May of the Liverpool Five. Telstar has super sound floor tom and bass, snappy snare with parallel release, all drums conical shaped to produce an expanded penetrating sound. Then next to that, we have the Trixon Thunderbeat special. Jimmy May of the Liverpool Five thinks this outfit is the most. The Thunderbeat has five tom toms plus a giant 20 inch floor tom and a double tone bass drum, super sensitive snare drum. So if you do the price comparison on one of the you know websites that'll convert it for you, the Trixon Telstar being $515, this website says that that's $4,515, which that is extremely expensive today for a drum set, uh, which is maybe why these didn't really catch on so much in the USA, just because the sheer price of importing them and dealing with all that stuff. And then the Trixon Thunderbeat special, which is $720 in 1966, the conversion here says that's $6,312. So for $6,300, you really get one of the coolest drum sets ever made. Uh, but I don't know. It's really, really, really expensive. I honestly see that the Thunderbeat being a little bit more like, okay, this is an eight-piece drum set. You're getting all these cool... It's 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 the the kind of drip, that bass drum, the elliptical bass drum, whereas the, the tricks on Telstar is the conical shape but a little more normal where I'm thinking, I don't know, that I, I guess I feel better paying $6,000 for the eight piece drum set, but it, it's all kind of painful. But anyway, that's what it says uh, is the price. So very cool. If you were buying these back in the day, you must've been doing pretty well. I think it's interesting because you see uh, similar wording across all three advertisements where, you know, they would talk about the explosive sound and giant floor tom, double tone bass drum. They use the word penetrating multiple times, so it's just kind of funny. It's just really neat to see this. It's a special period in time. They're special drums. Uh, they're art. These drums are art. I, I hope to do a full episode on the history of them because I've heard some things that are pretty wild about the background of Trixon, but I've also heard people say, well, that's not true, the, this story and that story. So I want to kind of narrow it down and make sure I get you guys the actual, you know, the most truthful background of Trixon drums. So I'm sure it'll happen. We'll make it happen at some point. Um, thanks to my friend Jerry Ryman for sending this to me. These are just really, really cool. Uh, I've been getting other articles and advertisements from from other people that I would never even thought about, um, you know, looking for. So thanks to everyone who's been sending them in. I'll be sure to get those. If you do send me something, it just has to be kind of a high res photo because, you know, you need to zoom in and make it interesting for the video. So um, anyway, I appreciate everyone who's been doing that. Thank you for watching this. I really appreciate you guys doing this. Be sure to subscribe and like the video and comment uh, if you've got tricks on drums or if you're interested in hearing more about them. Um, it's pretty cool stuff. So thanks for watching this and I will see you next week.